Alright, so getting into the video, as you probably figured from the title, we are going to be going through the entire history of Clash of Clans, taking a look at every single loading screen they have ever created for the game. Going back as far as early 2012, this is going to include annual loading screens, uh, seasonal loading screens, and some limited edition ones as well. So let's get into it. So the very first one that we have here, this one comes before the official release of Clash of Clans in uh, before the August release of it. So anytime before that, the date is actually unconfirmed, but this is the very first one we have, and the first thing that you will notice from this, uh, other than the simplicity of it, is going to be the different logo that they had for Clash of Clans. So if you take a look at it, they've got Clash of Clans in pretty much the same font, but they have it on top of the shield, and then without color. Uh, and then if you go ahead and take a look at all the barbarians, you've only got about 5 barbarians in the picture and then 1 archer, and then you've got some cannons hidden behind some wooden walls, so fairly simple loading screen. Uh, but then if we go ahead and take a look at it about 1 month later, this one was released on August 30th, 2012, you will notice that the Clash of Clans logo did change, it still isn't the same logo that we see today, it looks a lot more simpler and uh, there's a lot less texture to it I would say. Uh, but then if you take a look at the barbarians and all that, it looks like they did add a few more troops. If you see in the very back, in sort of a bit of a shadow, there is the P.E.K.K.A there. And then I believe that we, if we count the barbarians, we can see about six or seven of them now. Uh, so they are getting a bit more detail added into it. And then also if you take a look at the barbarians belt, um, if you rewind the video or uh, go back a few seconds, you'll actually be able to see that on their belt they had no design on them. However, now they started to add that little four checkered design for the clan flag. So that is one other change they had there. Um, and then they also added a few more shadows to each of the barbarians and then the archer as well. So overall just adding a little bit more detail. And then anyways, the next one is released on, was released on October 27th, 2012. And then basically it's the same thing, they just added a pumpkin head and then some bats flying in the background, nothing too fancy there. Um, and then also in this one, in the Halloween one and then the previous one that I mentioned, they also added on top of the cannons and the walls, there's actually an explosion with I believe that is a barbarian going flying out uh, and then that is one other change they made as well. And then also on the barbarian's belt, once again they changed it and added skulls on top of it instead of the checkered flag. So that is pretty neat. And then moving on to, this one was released on November 19th, 2012, and this is obviously the Christmas theme. They added the snow falling effect, uh, the snowman replaced the barbarian there, and then there is a Santa hat on top of the archer and then the barbarian. Uh, if you take a look in the top right, uh, there isn't really, um, there, used, or there used to be the explosion and the barbarian flying, they actually moved the title of Clash of Clans down a bit, so that it's now fully covering that. Um, and then also they changed the belt on the Barbarian once again to a reddish theme. Alright, and then moving on to the next annual updated uh, loading screen. This one came on the 17th of April 2013. And this is probably the one that I, uh, whenever I think back to Clash of Clans, this is always the loading screen that I think of. Probably because this is when I first started Clash of Clans. Uh, but it is definitely one of my favorite ones. So you, nothing really too much to see here, you've got the Barbarian, they also added in the Wizard now, and then there's still the Shadow of the Pekka in the very back. They've also got like Cannonballs flying, Archer Towers in the background, and then the Spring Trap on the right. And then in the background you can maybe make out a few other troops. Uh, right now I can't really make out any other distinct troops other than Barbarians and Pekkas. However, if you see any other ones than that, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, but anyways, moving on to the next seasonal one, this one came on the 10th of October 2013. And this one, they added a lot more detail into it once again, as they are slowly progressing over the years. Um, the game is making more money, they can hire better graphic designers and all of that. And it looks like they put a lot more time into it, because now they've got plenty more pumpkins flying around. Once again, they've got the bat theme, uh, the whole night theme, they've got the giant moon in the background. And then it looks like the archer towers on the far right kind of look like a haunted house. Uh, and then they've got a full pumpkin patch going everywhere. The belts on the barbarians have been changed once again. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all I've noticed. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and scroll over to the next one. Oh, something else maybe to point out is that in these last few, there hasn't been the Clash of Clans logo anymore on them. Um, I'm not sure if it's just the images I found of these when I searched them up. However, I don't actually notice them in these. Uh, but anyways, moving on to the next one. This one came on the 5th of December 2013. Uh, and obviously, once again, this is the Christmas theme. They've added Christmas lights, snow... The cannonballs turn into a snowman head, they've got the Santa Claus hats, and then instead of vines and stuff, they've got Christmas lights, and then you can even see Santa Claus flying in the background, and then you can even see right next to the fireball on the left of it, uh, sorry, to the left and a bit up, there is a flying gingerbread man, which is really weird, I've actually never noticed that, so that's, that's kind of cool to see. 
And then they've also got some like gold coins just fly flying around. Um, but they've actually had that in all the previous loading screens too. I'm just noticing that now. So anyways, moving on to the next annual one. This one came on the 9th of April 2014. And once again, it, this just got way more complicated. There are there are numerous more troops. I'm I could probably see the barbarian, the wizard, the giant archers. You got the wall breaker way in the back. You've got goblins. You got the pekka, um, and then the archers. I believe I already mentioned that. Um, that's all I make out right now. Let me know if you guys see any other troops. Once again, I could just be blind at the moment. But once again, tons more detail being added into it. Um, really cool to see. And now they've actually started incorporating where there are two clans kind of facing each other. You can see the red fire emblem is one clan and then they've got the like bluish, I want to call that a lightning but it's not really. Uh, but anyways they've got two clans facing off against each other which is the first time they've done that in the loading screen. And then in the middle of the uh, loading screen you can see that there is a like sort of earthquake or um, line being split across made out of fire to kind of show that the two clans are fighting against each other. But anyways moving on to the next one which came on the um, this one came at Halloween time, I can't quite make out the exact date of it, uh, but anyways, I believe it was actually the 11th of October, but I'm not too sure on that. But anyways, in this one they've got mummies, and the bats are finally gone from this actually. In the background again, you've got sort of a, a bit of a glow coming from the haunted houses or archer towers or whatever they were actually. Um, and then they've also got skeleton hands popping out, out of everywhere, which I think is really cool. And there is also the addition of the witch on the very far right side. That replaces the archer that used to be there. Um, and then, so yeah, there's the witch. And then what else do they add? There's the mummy on the barbarian. And other than that, they've also got the moon, obviously, and then some pumpkins. But other than that, they didn't really change too, too much. But it is still pretty cool to see. And then moving on to the next one. Uh, either I couldn't find the Christmas loading screen or they just didn't have one at all that year. Alright, so anyways, moving on to the next annual one for the 2015 year. Uh, so once again, they've got the wizard, they've got all the most popular troops, and then they've also got the addition of the heroes. So there's the archer queen and then the barbarian king all fighting on one side. And then they've also got the wall breaker at the very, very bottom. And then uh, there's the hog rider for the, making his very first appearance. And then in the background, they've also got finally the wizard tower for the first time. And then they've also got balloons in the air and then a silhouette of the dragon on the right side. And then I can actually make out what kind of defense that is in the very back beside that archer's bow and then above the barbarian. Uh, but that is a unique looking building that is probably the first time we're seeing that. And then on the walls they've also got the skulls which is really neat to see. Uh, they've got the witch, barbarians, and archers so all of the most common troops again uh, with the addition of of course the balloon, the hog rider, and then the heroes so that is really neat. And then moving on to the Halloween version coming out in October 2015. Uh, they added fangs to the wizard, which is pretty cool, so I guess he is now a vampire. Um, the color on the balloons have changed once again. There is the pumpkin theme. I'm not even sure if that's really pumpkin, but there is some sort of like magical fruit or something on the far right side. That is pretty neat. They've got the tombstones. The skeleton heads were already on top of the walls, and they did bring back all of the bats flying in the air above the wizard tower. And then they've also got a bit of a graveyard uh, in, the dead center of the, in the dead center of the loading screen. And then moving on to, this one came on the 18th of December 2015, the Christmas theme. Once again, the balloons are fully decorated in red and Christmas lights. Uh, the wizard's fangs have been removed and instead he's wearing a red cloak. The P.E.K.K.A has turned it into a gigantic snowman. The wall breaker is holding one of those decorations that you would put on a tree, uh, one of those Christmas ornaments. The walls have been turned into candy canes, there is snow everywhere, and then the barbarian king is wearing one of those Christmas hats. And then also the Christmas... Uh, the sorry, not the Christmas. The Archer Tower is fully decorated in Christmas presents and uh, Christmas lights as well. And then also a cool little addition is that at the tip of the archers, the center archers bow, there's actually like a little bang or a little flash coming off there. I'm not sure what that's actually meant to be, but that is it is only in the Christmas version, so that is kind of unique to see. Alright, and so moving on to the next one, I actually, I don't know how this happened, but I ended up mixing it up. And there actually is a Christmas themed one for the year of, what was it, 2013, no, 2014, I ended up finding it. Um, it somehow got mixed up in my video queue. But anyways, this is the Christmas theme. Uh, it's kind of cool to see on the very left side, the giant has been turned into a giant gingerbread man, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot more ice, like the bomb has turned into an ice bomb. Uh, the P.E.K.K.A has turned into a giant snowman once again, and then the witch has the little bells on top of her staff, which is pretty neat to see, and then once again the Christmas hats, and then the wizard's red cloak is coming back. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next one, and this is the most, 
Uh, most recent one that we have been seeing when we got the addition to the builder base. So a lot of you guys may remember this. Uh, it's pretty neat to see as it is the first ever nighttime one we've had other than the Halloween stuff. Uh, you've got the Barbarians, the Wall Breaker is holding the bomb barely over his head, barely staying afloat. There's Starfish like attached to the Barbarian's face in the front. And then a lot of the troops are coming over, like more so than before. You've got Minions for the first time, the Valkyrie, Hog Rider, I believe that is a Golem on the far right side that the Goblin is standing on top of. And then we've also got the Hog Rider and all of that. So this is probably one of my favorite Clash of Clans ones since it's so different and unique. But anyways, moving on to the Halloween version, it is even cooler. You've got the really eerie, like greenish, dark glow coming from everything. The P.E.K.K.A has turned into the Super P.E.K.K.A with his like super electric powers or whatever that is. The Barbarian's got a glowing pumpkin head. And then the Barbarians have all actually turned into the Rage Barbarians. You've got the Baby Dragon, you've got the Night Witch, the Cannon Cart, the Boxer Giant, the uh, Bomber, and then the Hog Rider for some reason is still here. I know all of these troops are meant to be like the Builder Base troops, so why exactly is the Hog Rider still here like in the midst of all of these other troops that come strictly from the Builder Base? But anyways, that is the Halloween version. And then moving on, this one was actually a limited, limited edition one, only released in Japan I believe, um, to celebrate uh, I forget honestly what it was, it was to celebrate some sort of festival, but anyways, here is a look at it. It is pretty unique. Anyways, I don't really have too much to say about this one, I'll just go ahead and let you guys take a look at it for yourselves, but it is pretty neat to see. And then moving on to the ones that we currently have right now. So this one was in celebration of Chinese New Year, if I remember correctly, and it is really weird to see that we actually have our troops all sitting around a tinner, or sitting around a table and eating dinner. Uh, so that is really weird because we've never actually seen any of that before um, But anyways, you've got the dragon or sorry the baby dragon You've got goblins Pekka barbarians the hog riders the witch uh, The Valkyrie the archer and then the wizard as well And then they are all sitting around eating some sort of like hot pot dumplings You got like I don't know if that's burritos or whatever and it looks like they're eating like ham, too uh, Which hopefully didn't come from the hog riders hog, but uh, we won't get into that and so yeah so over the years you can see just how much the game has really developed it's really showing in the quality of the loading screens and the complexity that is put into it and while this video is still on the topic of loading screens i also wanted to share some never before seen loading screens created by bob bobson and one of my really good friends who helps me out with all of my channel art and thumbnails so let's go ahead and take a look at that so this very first one was created by uh the guy that helps me out with my thumbnails and all that and so here is a good look at it right here it's got all of our favorite troops in it once again. You've got the wizard, the uh, the wall breaker, the skeleton, barbarian hog rider, archer, the P.E.K.K.A., the lava hound, and then the giants. And then you've also got the uh, the bomber, the one that throws the bomb in the very back, hiding on top of the giant's back. So that is a look at that. And then moving on to Vov's version, this was for the night base, the Christmas version of it. You've got the master builder and his cannon cart, and then you've got the barbarians, and then the super P.E.K.K.A., hog rider, balloons, and all that rushing towards them. So there is a good look at that one. And then this was his most recent one that he created, uh, which involved the battle machine and then his concept troop idea, which was the battle bots. So that is pretty cool. I'll let you guys take a look at that. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy taking going through a bit of a history of the Clash of Clans loading screens. If you did, make sure you drop a like. And anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.